Hello, today we will be harvesting winter garlic. It is extremely important to choose the right time for harvesting. If we harvest too early, we will not get enough in the amount of harvest. Remove too late. The plant can start secondary vegetation, that is, matured T3 start the root system, as if we planted them for the second time and will go growth of young fresh foliage. Therefore, it is very important to choose the right moment, when you are already at the peak of yield, but not yet in the second vegetation. approximately in terms of timing. If oriented, it is the middle of July, but there are also more external signs that indicate that the garlic is ripe. First of all, it is the state of the foliage. Look, there is a yellowing of the leaves and this indicates that the nutrients go from the leaves to the head. The head is getting stronger, the underground bulb, but there are some other signs. For example, if the air bulb on the shoot is already bursting, We grew garlic under mulch from cut grass. Several times we fertilized with mineral and organic fertilizers. We also use bio preparations, which we propagate ourselves. I recommend watching this video on our channel. We stopped watering two weeks before harvesting. This contributes to a better maturation of the bulb underground and the accumulation of more dry matter in it. The more dry matter in the underground bulb at the time of harvest, the better it will be stored. You can pluck, of course, but plucking damages the underground bulb. Significantly damaged underground bulbs and garlic can be worse stored. Therefore, we will use a spade or garden forks. They allow good and quality digging of garlic and other crops. Garlic is buried in a substantial way, so it is quite difficult to dig it out. Hear the sound. The root system is torn. During cultivation, we have grown a good root system. Then we take it out carefully. Even though we have not watered for the last two weeks, the soil is still quite moist. The head needs some moisture even during maturing.
Let's move on from there. Do not shake. Do not knock one bulb against another, because this worsens storage. If you are going to store them, then you must clean them very carefully, very gently, as if you were collecting eggs in a hen house. This is the kind of attitude garlic requires now. The earth can be lightly rubbed, because it is loose. That's it, the cleanup's over. In no case, friends, do not cut the leaves. The leaves are full of nutrients, full of organic matter that will flow over now and grow the head a little bit more. That's how we're going to lay it out in the shade or under a canopy. That's roughly the way it is and let it dry out there. Then we tie the garlic into bunches and hang them in a dry, cool and dark place. We are satisfied with the harvest. What I wish you, too, is that we are always satisfied with the fruits of our labors. Although we have grown large fruits or medium or even small, the main thing is our labor, and the land already thanks us as much as we deserve. Thank you all for your attention. High harvest. Good health. Peaceful skies above our heads. Thank you for your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Goodbye.